Hi everyone, this is Balvindo. Welcome to the next video of this phase, guys, of this day where I'm going to show you how you can actually set up the events. In the last video, I talked about, about the events, how you can do that. It's the standard events and the custom conversion events. Um, here, I'm going to show you how you can actually set up. We are talking about the standard events that Facebook already have and it's easy to install it. That will be really easy for you. Guys, if you're on the screen um you already set up your install base pixels and all advanced uh, matching now you will be able to see this options now you have two kind of options guys you can two way to install the events the first way is uh, Facebook have their own setup tool with the help of tool you can easily able to set up the event code events you can easily able to set up the events where you want to be set up it for example guys i have that website right um what i'm looking for is i'm going to set up um, that button means the download specification button what i'm looking for is if someone click on this button it will be count as an elite because the reason being if someone click on this button guys they will be come on this website and they will be down click on this download and it'll good to go they will be right so i can either set up the events on this button or this button since i'm not going to set up on this because this is the different cms you will be able to see this is the the landing page which i created this is the totally different and the url also different you will be see it here but i'm going to set up here this is the main thing i'm going to set up it here how i can do that now guys i'm going to open a setup tool i'm not going to install the manual because this is bit you need require some coding for it that's fine you do not need to be go with it simple go to the event setup tool click the websites put the website details your url and they will be retracted to the website where they will be ask you where you want to be set up the actually button or even what you actually looking for what you want to track that what they are asking to you now if you are here they will be asking to you they will saying to you the measure the valuable action that people will take on your website further navigate through your website to track the all events um, the people keep tracking uh, and you can um, you can uh, you can target those old people you can catch all the people so i'm going to click the start here you will be able to see it the only i'm going to delete this setup here just for a minute here you will be able to see this pop-up right uh in the event on this page or all event the all event the all events you set up you will be able to see it here through this tool the opening the event setup tool but i'm going to set up my first event i will become on this event on this page basically i'm going to set up event on this page right here you have two options track a button or track a url now track a button guys if you would like to be track a button if someone click on the button you want to track those people you can do that so or if someone click the button they come on to the other web url then they put um the specific they put the all information that you are looking for then they click the download or something action then after that they will be redirect to own specific page for example thank you page confirmation page any kind of page then you can track url as well since i do not want to be track the url i can do that so because uh, i'm not going to because my landing page is made by another cms and all this stuff but keep it simple for here i just want to be track the button I click it here you will be able to see this all things um, the all buttons Facebook created for you I'm just going to click here and I'm going to say to you look if someone click on this I want to be tracked that button and I will be considered that event as my lead because I know the people click on it they will put the information and they will be submit and all good to go uh, since there is a no value for this this is just a free thing if there is any value if there is any if people needs to be put the credit card details any they, they, they are going to buy something you can put the value over there and i'm good to go i'm going to confirm it simple and it's already been done so i'm going to finish this one and finish it here skip it here so now it's already been set up guys what i need to do is i'm going to cancel it here you need to be continue 
or if you want to be check these things if it works or not what you need to do is you can come in here and click this one and you can open to the admin issue right so in the admin issue or in the um, uh, event setup you will be able to see it but once you're done with it here right make sure that you need to be go continue we need to be verified the domain i will be going to show you within a minute but here you need to be understand you need to be check whether that lead option it's done or not you can go through with it as well so you are coming here on the data source that's our wow homes nz which we created that one right so once you've done it here guys we already can check this one you will be able to see this lead it here activate it means that it's already been fired it's already been installed onto the website that what it is mean is you will be able to see it here guys the lead or you can able to see it here as well i'm going to click it here and further i'm going to just click on it right I'm going to click on it. It will be retract me to the another page. That's fine because this is the different CMS. As I mentioned, you do not need to be worried about it. But I want to be track that button. So I'm coming here and I will be able to see it here in the test event as well. If I'm getting this one or not, how I can do that. You will be able to see this lead has been processed. I'm going to show you one more time. What I will be doing is I'm going to here and I'm coming on it. I put this. Uh, copy this URL I put into this test event I will be go to the test event I put this URL and I'll open it right once I open it you will be see the page we has been processed now I will be click on it here and in the test event you will be see it here if the lead has been fired or not I'm going to click on it here and it has been it should be fired right here it should be fired it has been fired so at the moment I know that my lead event has been set up on that page if someone on that button if someone click on the button that lead has been done so lead has been fired now it's already been set up i'm going to set up another event so i will be going to show you how you can do that one more event i'm going to set up it here i'm, I'm going to open that tool uh, sometime it's happening if you're going to uh, if you're going to see an error here that your pixel code it's not been installed or anything else this kind of problem because your pixel should be installed properly it's already been installed proper because you can check through the event what you can do is you can cancel it you can go to the back or you can cancel this one right confirm this one i'm going to show you the way which might be you are facing right so sometime it's happened so you will be coming here you will be refresh it once you refresh it it will be good to go because the base pixels it's already been installed sometime facebook give this kind of errors because facebook are working on their tool so you do not need to be worried about that but so when you come on this wow homes nz um this pixels id if on the screen right you can check through this test event tab you can come on to this test event tab right you can put this one as i mentioned i'm going to clear it with here and i'm going to put my website url and i will be going to open it so you will be able to see if it's been processed or not if it's been processed that's fine if not then it means that it's not working well so you will become here and you will be able to see it here it's the page which has been processed it means that it's good to go now the second thing I already mentioned you how you can set up the lead but I'm going to set up one more event for you so that it will be clear for you I'm going to set up a contact form means um, if someone come on this page my contact page right after the filling the all information if they click on this submit I want to track that button what I will be doing is I'm going to click this URL I'm going to cancel this one I'm going to come on this this and i'm going to come on this overview refresh it come on this overview and then after that what i will be do is i'm going to track that button means if someone fill out the form and click this button i want to track that guy simple is that 
So I'm going to come on this wow homes. I'm going to click on this add event tab. You will be able to see this add event tab right here. This add event tab. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to go from the pixels. I'm going to click on it and I'm going to open that event. So now they will be asking me, okay, you can set up an event tool in the standard event parameter. They said, on which page would you like to be set up this? I'm going to set up, I'm going to open this page and I'm going to set up my event on this page, which is contacted. So they asking for you this kind of options as well, guys, you will be able to see it. To use this Facebook event, make sure that your browser pop-up blocker turned off. Can you able to see this one? It should be turned off, okay? Uh, it should be turn it off, okay? So I'm going to refresh it here again and I'm going to open it. Now it's working, right? So you will be able to see. So this kind of things, if you're able to see, just make sure that should be turned off. Now. They will be open and uh, event tool here again and they said okay uh, in on this website this lead has been installed on download specification now what i'm looking for is i'm looking for to set up an event contact even on this page now track this e button right beat button i'm going to click on this button now they will be asking you okay what type of event it is i'm going to say to you this is the contact so i'm going to click on this contact and confirm it's already been set up right so you're able to see it here what sort of um <clears throat> events has been set up so it's easy and good so here it's done finish setup and finish right so now it's already been done guys i want to check it whether it's fired or not what how i will be do it now i'm going to go to this wow homes right i'm going to fill out the form and I'm, I'm 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 going to check it whether it's fired or not so you will be able to see it here as well in the test event or you can put this url here the contact url i'm going to copy this url i'm going to put this one i'm going to clear this activity onto the test event and I'm going to put this open contact. Now I want to see it here whether after filling out the contact form whether it's been fired or not. Right. So I'm going to put my name is Balwinder. My email ID is this. For example, I'm just going to put this email ID. Right. Subjects. Um. Just query hi blah 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 right so i'm going to now you will be able to i'm going to click on it once it's been clicked first thing you will be able to see this here it's already been fired the button click is automatically done they will be asking to you this now you will be able to see it here the contact has been fired right so this is the power you can see the test events has already been fired here I hope that would be help you out guys in the next video i'm going to show you how you can actually set up uh, or verify the domain it's it's so important since guys apple announced their ios 14 it puts a lot of effects uh, on the facebook to tracking the customer data for that we need to be verify our domain and we need to be set up some aggregate events what is that in the next video i'm going to show you about what is that aggregate events is how you can verify it and why we need to do it so in the next video i'm going to show you this all things i hope that will be help you out so in see you in the next video thank you